Hi, I'm Che. I'm one of the inventors of the Alt Workstation. Yesterday, we did a great Facebook Live comparing the size of a signature series to a small, medium, and large office setup. However, we had bandwidth trouble, so we're going to reshoot this. So we're going to call this a quasi Facebook Live. What we're going to talk about today is the footprint that you would use for an alt workstation versus some traditional office setups. So we're going to start with the small office setup, small desk. This desk is four feet wide. It's actually a sit stand desk and it's from one of the largest furniture manufacturers in the world. Almost assuredly, you've put one of these systems together from this company. But this is four feet wide, which in, is considered smaller than average. And then we have a traditional uh, task chair here. And what we did is we've marked out in blue tape the width of it. And then we tested how much pushback do you actually need? Because your footprint is not just what is the chair as small as possible or under the desk. It's what do you need to get it in and out? And most of us will swing the chair out like this. What we did here is we actually, in our own testing, we put this box behind us and we kept trying to use the, the state or this desk and chair set up and then push back in a comfortable manner where we didn't feel like we were gonna hit anything, but also where we were not trying to push it one way or the other. You could sneak into it and make it smaller if you needed to, but what's comfortable. So for the size of this desk, first of all, this is a this is a classic 90-90 ergonomic setup, back straight, feet flat on the floor, knees bent, good distance here. I'll lock the chair forward, helps roll the pelvis in. And for monitor, about at the end of the fingers is considered good for most people, highly dependent on if you wear glasses or not. And the height on here is probably good, right? Some people would say it could be down a little bit more. Other people say, hey, I'd like to use it higher. But this is a reasonably set up system. When I push back, I spin. And it turns out we need about six feet from this end of the desk to here. So a small footprint is about uh, 24 square feet. So let's move on from the 24 square foot small desk setup to what's more traditional, uh, a five foot wide desk. So this is a good size, reasonable desk setup for an office environment. Enough room to spread out, but it's about 30 square feet total. Now let's go look at a large desk. So now let's talk about a traditional L desk. That's the main desk here and then a little side piece. A large desk setup or a workstation even, and it allows you to spin, if you will, in your task chair to different sections to do different kinds of work. Nice big desk. We have a wall here, and you know, with the with not wanting to scrape up the wall, we have a little bit more uh, pushback on these than we do when we don't have a wall behind us. Also remember, a lot of us like to lean back in our chairs. Also, this is a computer-centric computing station instead of a user-centric. The reason I have wheels on this chair is because I need to sit down and then I have to wheel my body over to the computer and move my body to the computer. All workstations allow the computer to move to the user. It's a very fundamentally different way of thinking about the experience. So I move to this computer, push back, come out. This desk setup is seven feet by seven feet or 49 square feet. So effectively twice the size of our small desk setup. Now let's see how these compare to an alt workstation. Now let's look at an alt workstation. This is a signature series, so it also includes the stand-up. So what is the footprint of the alt workstation itself? Well, it is about three feet by six feet, or 18 square feet in and of itself. Now, if I had a, like, a walk-in closet that I wanted to convert into a home office, then I could use this area to walk into it and 
come inside the alt workstation, it's about as compact as you could hope for, right? If I'm bringing it into stand-up mode, if I've gotten myself a signature station, and make sure the lines are about right, I can work in stand-up mode with the desk at about 45 degrees. If I have more room, I probably will come out here. It's a little more comfortable, especially if the leg rest is out, which is how I use my alt workstation in stand-up mode most of the time. And that adds maybe a foot on this side, maybe a foot over here, but again, it's optional. It depends on the space you have, especially if you have, you know, let's just call it odd requirements. If you look at this filing cabinet, if you do have a work environment where you're using paper, you can actually put this filing cabinet and the alt workstation still goes full recline, even as close as this is. So it can fit into unusual spaces which you might have in your house. Going from here, I'm gonna go ahead and go into full recline so people can see how that works. Again, the leg rest comes out seamlessly supporting. And when I'm doing for my leg rest, I will just come in and out this way. You do not need to retract the leg rest if, you're, if it's comfortable for you. Setting the desk, monitor, and then full recline. So this actually completely works. All seamlessly mo moving around the body. So that is user-centric computing. I didn't move to the computer, the computer moved to me. So no leaning back in your chair, which then causes the monitor and the keyboard desk height to go higher, which causes issues in this area or necks, et cetera, et cetera, right? So this moved with me to me from standing to fully recline. So again, the Signature Series or the Flex Series both occupy three feet by six feet or 18 square feet, but you need a little bit of room around them. I think that's fair. And if you went on this side, you know, this is our side table. That's a one foot line there, so it's very close to the, the side, the size, sorry, the size. And great place for coffee, books, reference materials, all that other stuff. But I think what's clear is the Altwork station itself is really not much larger, if not arguably a little bit smaller footprint than the smallest desk. If you look at our smallest desk, it's not on wheels. And the ability to move this around is also huge. One of the other things about the alt workstation is because this desk moves with me and I can focus, it's a small desk, but I can focus on what I'm working on, that minimalism has made me more mindful about what am I working on, what do I want to get done, and what do I need in front of me to do that. So while it's a small desk, I find it a more focusing desk. And with something like a side table or a filing cabinet, I've got all the access to anything I might want, but this keeps me focused on my task at hand. One of the questions that we got yesterday is how big is the desk? Great question. So this desk is 29 by 17. But the working area is not exactly 29 by 17. I normally work with my mouse pad here, but clearly you can move it well off the side. In addition, because you have easily removed magnetic uh, keyboard, etc., for those times if you want to use paper, this is a notebook that I just really like. It's a large notebook and I like to work with paper and pen for some projects. You can put that right there, open the whole thing up, do your work. Um, I use this magnetic phone holder as a pen holder sometimes also. And do that work. When you're done with it and you're ready to go back to computing, you're done and ready to go. A question we get is, what about shipping 
the station after I get it? What about, what about if I move? So the Altwork station comes in five boxes. A single bolt on the backrest and a cable unhook will allow you to take the backrest off. And a single bolt and electrical unhooks will allow you to take the leg rest seat assembly off. That makes it quite small. Uh, two bolts to take the desk off and one electrical connection, those kinds of things. So you can move it down very small hallways, around corners, or if you have to go upstairs, you can lift it more easily. So in addition, you have the possibility of even moving this from a 110 environment to a 220 environment, a different country with different electrical standards. We ship all workstations all over the world and we do have 220 versions available of the controller. Contact us if you want to do a, a switch out of your voltage. A question we get is, how easy is it to move the alt workstation? So, signature series are on wheels. The Flex series, that's an upgrade. These wheels can be unlocked as simple as that. And then, it's really, it's just that easy. And that allows you to do things like, right now we have a little bit of sun coming in through these windows, so I have moved out an alt workstation just to get out of the sun for a little bit. Right? Or if you want to push it to the side of the house so you have more room in the, in the middle of the room, whatever you want. So today we've compared the all workstation to even a very small desk, a medium desk and a large desk. It's compact, it's comparable or no bigger than even a small desk setup. If you have more questions, please re reach out to us either via chat or email us through our website. Love to talk to you.